So the Dyna glass will not stick to the fiberglass on the hood because it won't stick to tape. Anyway, you rough up this edge right here the best you can and then rough the front of your grill up and you go ahead and shut it just like so. And like I said, we've already done this and uh, I'm just, this is just a quick tip on how to fix your gap. Then you wanna, what you want to do is buy some Dyna glass and what that is, that's fiberglass Bondo mix if you look right here. Okay. So that will actually penetrate into the fiberglass once you rough it up really good. You mix that up just like the directions say. And then you want to fill that in. And you take your Bondo spreader and you push it in there and fill it in the best you can. Now what that's going to do, it's going to make the body line where it's going to look like a factory original car instead of having a big giant gap on it. And you wait till it dries to pull the hood off. You open your hood like this. And then, go ahead and sand it down. Now, if you look real close right here, you can see the line, okay, where the hood actually stopped. So we go ahead and sand that down. And if you notice, I'm not concentrating on this. I'm just concentrating on this lip right here. You sand that down to where there's no gap underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and just do one side just to show you what it's going to look like. Now, of course, this is a body shop, so we got all the professional tools to do this with. Uh, you can actually use the tools that you've been using to work on your car. And you sand that down. And you can see that this line right here, if you look real close, you can see where the original hood was. And I had to fill that in that much to make a nice clean gap so when you put your hood back, when you get your car all together and paint it, it doesn't have a big two inch gap on it. So, you sand that down and you get it all smoothed out. And then, once you close your hood and latch it, you'll see that you're starting to get a nice uniform line instead of a big giant gap. If you look back here, this is basically the gap that we had on the front of our hood. Now I could come back and fill all this in if I wanted to. Okay? But the uh, back part of your hood, it really doesn't matter. It's more of the front end part that uh, is more noticeable. Once all this... You want about an eighth of an inch gap, sixteenth to an eighth of an inch on that. So as you see, if you look close now, you can see that we've sanded that down smooth on this edge right here. And you can 
basically see how much we've had. If you notice, this gap here was smaller than on this side. So if I would have left that like that, this gap would have been small and that would have been big. Go ahead and clean that up. And I'm using 36 grit sandpaper here. To clean this process, you need to uh, test fit your hood. So we're going to test fit it on here. And as you see, the gap's looking pretty good. It's pretty even on each side. Let me tuck that tape back in there. And it's very important that you use the tape. If you don't have uh, masking tape on the front, the Bondo will glue them together. So we're going to go ahead and shade that off a little. It's very important that there's tape on the front lip of this. Wrap it all the way around. Now, now that I used my dining glass, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix up some Bondo. We're going to mix up just a little bit of Bondo, like so. And this will be our nice finish coat before so, I'm doing the same process that I did when I put the dining glass on. I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to push it in there, if you notice, I'm pushing it in to the gap, just like this. And all this is really doing, this is actually filling in all the small pinholes and all the crap, uh, it's filling all the small pinholes and all the uh, sand marks down. It's all right to get a little on your hood. You can just wipe that off. You're going to have to sand it anyway for primer. Just make sure that you put a nice good coat on there where it looks nice and even. And we're going to let that dry and come back and pop it off. Now we put our Bondo on. As you see, it's dry. I got my tape on there. So now what we do is we open the hood, go it loose. And as you notice, if you watch real close, you'll see the hood it jiggles out. There. Now, what I do is I flip the hood over easily, and if you don't have your side panels on it, you can do this. As you see, that made a nice, clean, crisp line for me right there, once again. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand that down, and I don't want to take my tape off yet, just in case. And now I'm going to use a block because I want a nice sharp edge on there, see? And I'm going to sand that just like that. And if you look real close, like I said, you can see where the Bondo has filled in the deep scratches. That's what we want. We want the deep scratches all the tape off. Once again, the tape is so the Bondo will not stick to the hood fiberglass. If you look, Bondo will not stick to it. That's what keeps us from molding that. That's what keeps keeps it so we can mold that in, open and shut the hood at the same time. So I take this off. If you noticed in a previous video, as we're building our coop, I showed you how to mold the bottom of the hood here. Where it would, you know, when you close it, it's uh it has the same roll and texture to it. So, I close my hood, and as you can see, when it's all painted, if you come at this angle right here, you can see, if you come right down here, you can see that the hood is flush mounted. It's not sitting too high or too low, and everything's gonna look nice when it's painted. That's how you fix the hood gap on the front grill of your car. I hope that's been a helpful tip. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions have an echo in so much space. And when you're out there without care, 